a company asked me to review their product. Ah! Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to another video. I have received something from a company that may or may not change the way I do my laundry. It's called the gargoyle. So simply put, this could replace my soap detergent. The theory of this ball is based on science. Now, I am no scientist, but luckily I know someone who is, my cousin Gabriel. So I asked him to try and explain it better than I ever would. So the way these balls work is that their ceramic structures are composed of a chemical that can dissolve in water to raise the water's pH and therefore break down annoying stains. This is done by releasing hydrogen peroxide into the water. Hydrogen peroxide has been promoted for its benefits in removing protein and plant-based stains. It'll also eventually break down into water and oxygen and is therefore a more environmentally friendly cleaning agent than other more toxic chemicals such as bleach. However, since these balls use hydrogen peroxide, I would advise against using them in parallel with high concentrations of household ammonia, chlorine bleach, or vinegar. Inside, there are uh, little tiny ceramic balls, and I would say it's about maybe a little less than halfway filled. And I think they probably made all these little grooves and edges so that it would help create friction on the clothing and naturally wash it that way. These are all just theories. My concerns are that obviously this could be a placebo effect. Another thing is that I enjoy the scent of soap in my laundry, so I don't know if I'll enjoy having unscented clothes at the end of my laundry. That being said, I love their packaging. It's made of a single box that is just folded on itself, so there's no tape and there's nothing else. It's completely recyclable, which I thoroughly enjoy. And I received a total of three boxes that were all together packaged in another box itself. There was no plastic anywhere to be seen. Unless you count, of course, the gargoyle. The gargoyle is made of recyclable plastic, though. The company states that it's an eco-friendly alternative to laundry detergent. Because there's no chemicals, it's gentle for all types of skin. One gargoyle is supposed to be good for up to four to five years. The instructions are fairly simple. It says to simply place the gargoyle in your laundry machine with your clothes and just start your cycle as you would with normal soap. I bought an aquarium testing kit. It tests many things, but the most important thing to me was the alkalinity of the water. There are various tests on one strip and the kit comes with instructions on what the change in colors mean. Now I know that this test in itself is not going to be 100% accurate. I don't mind. What I'm trying to find with this test is if there's any difference whatsoever in the water. If there's a difference in the water by the colors changing on this test here, it'll tell me that it's not just a placebo effect. The gargle actually does do something to the water. The laundry cycle on my machines runs for half an hour. 10 minutes of that half hour are solely water slushing around in the laundry with the clothing. So my goal is to see if this gargoyle can do anything to my laundry within those 10 minutes. So my plan is I'll sample some of the water that comes initially out of the machine without touching anything and put that to the side. After which I'll put a gargoyle in the machine, leave it in there for 10 minutes with no clothing, no nothing, and I'll take a sample after those 10 minutes. So, theoretically speaking, I should be able to see a difference between the sample A and the sample B. If not, to me, it'll mean that there's maybe some green washing going on here. But if there is even the tiniest bit of difference between water A and water B, then to me that means that there is something backing the theory of washing your clothes with a gargoyle. Oof, that is some unflattering overhead light. Basically, I just have one of those normal machines. I usually typically put it on large setting. I don't know if this usually happens, but it's like very, like a lot of like natural little bubbles. And my ball is right here. I don't know if you can tell. Right there, boop. I'm such a scientist. Look at me with my little tools and stuff. I have here two waters. One second, boop. And then I wanna do one minute. I think I can tell a difference already. Am I crazy? Can you guys tell a difference? This one is the initial water, and this one is the water once I put the little plastic ball in and it had been 10 minutes. You can definitely tell a difference. Now, is that difference super the most noticeable thing in the world? No. Maybe I should do another test. This one is without the little plastic ball, and this one is with the little plastic ball. This one has nothing on it. 
This one is without the ball. This one is with the ball. There's a difference in this thing. The hardness of the water, it becomes harder. I can also tell kind of a difference here. Lighter kind of, I don't really know. But I can definitely tell a, a difference in those two. This one has no difference. This one, oh wait, there's blue now. Oh, I think it's from my fingers. Is that possible? It probably is because I would have held them like this, you know? If I put my finger on it, is it going to do anything? Yeah, my finger is making it more blue. I pressed on it really hard to see if it would do anything. I think it just strained out some of the water. I think I'm gonna do one last test just to see. This one is the gargoyle water. This one isn't. Oh, it's upside down. No worries, let me turn this one around. There you go. Okay, so it's been about a minute. Like these are just patchy. There was no clear conclusion with the testing I did from the water that was directly from the washing machine. I don't know if it's because I should use more than one gargoyle, if maybe there was too much water for the one gargoyle, if it's because I waited too long to do my tests between bringing the water samples back to my apartment and setting up my camera and stuff like that. So I decided to investigate further. I washed my sink. I took a new sample of water coming straight out of the faucet of my bathroom and I took a gargoyle and swished it around in the water that was now in the sink for 20 minutes. I figured if after 20 minutes there was still no difference it would put the test to rest. Damn, these flattering angles are just coming right at you. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot less water in here just because I really wanna see if I can tell a difference. This, my friends, is dedication. After about five minutes, I realized that there was actually a weird thing going on. Okay, I've been mixing this water for like five minutes now. And it's like gray. What happened? And I washed the sink before. You saw me wash the sink. This is brand new. It's like technically speaking the second time I used this one. I took a sample of that water because I figured why not. And then I went back to slushing the gargoyle around for another 15 minutes. So at that point, the water was no longer translucent. As a matter of fact, it was opaque and gray. And I wish I had filmed it, but I didn't. But when I let the water sit for a while, everything that was in the water actually settled down. And and it was this kind of grayish dust. It was really odd. That's squeaky clean. <laughs> All right, so we're back at it again. The first one is gonna be the water that was straight out of the faucet. Gargoyle in the water mixed in for about five minutes. Last but not least is the water that became, you know, really mucky and gray and opaque color. Wow, you can definitely tell a difference between these two and that one. What I can see, it's a little more pink, a little less orange. This one, same thing. It's a teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny little bit more green-blue. Whereas these two is a little tiny bit more yellow. So this one is more alkaline. These things, um, that's the hardness of the water. These two and this one, you can definitely tell a difference. This one is way more red, whereas this one is softer water. If we look at the one straight out of the tap and the one 20 minutes later, you can tell that there's a difference, okay? Like the one that was in the water that was murky is honestly just, you know, more alkaline. That's, that's what my test is telling me. Maybe there is something to the gargoyle. I think this is really cool. The testing I did in my bathroom sink proved that there was definitely something happening in the water. I could see it with my own eyes. And the testing strips also showed a big difference between the water initially coming out of the tap and the water after 20 minutes of gargoyle contact. With that being said, I can't really draw a real conclusion as there are other external factors that came into the water such as my hand, the chain, and the rubber plug. Those things might have something to do with the water changing. I tried using it once or twice with some of my laundry and I didn't notice any difference from when I used soap to when I used this, which showed to me that either the gargoyle did its job at cleaning my clothes or soap is not as necessary as I think and I could just use water and that would theoretically clean my clothes as well. So what's my conclusion? Do these really work? Is it a placebo effect? My answer is there is something happening, but is it enough? My theory is that the little balls within the gargoyle, after that much friction, break apart and that little dust that breaks apart is what creates a harder water or a more alkaline water. But again, I'm no scientist, it's just my theory. So if you have a washing machine that soaks for a very long time and tumbles, I guess you could say for a very long time, a gargoyle 
might be a good idea for you. You need to ask yourself, is the gargoyle going to be able to do its job given the amount of time and the amount of water that your own machine allows? Another aspect that could have stopped you from using a gargoyle is the sound. If you were at all worried that this would bang and clang around, rest assured it didn't do that in my case. The machine did the same amount of noise it usually does and this didn't add anything to that noise. The company has a goal that for each gargoyle they sell, they remove 300 grams from the ocean. This is what 300 grams looks like. So not only do they remove plastic from the ocean, they also don't produce more plastic with their products or their packaging products. On their website, they do offer the option of adding scent with essential oils, such as lavender oil, by adding 10 drops to your laundry. My fear is that some people are sensitive to that kind of thing, so I don't think it's a good idea to mix it in your water. So it could just, you know, lead to some sensitivities. What I think would be a better idea is adding little pouches of dried flowers and nice smelling things in your drawers so that once your clothes are clean and folded, and then that's where the scent is infused, if you will. <laughs> I remember my mom used to do that with stockings and potpourri. It was a very old, nostalgic scent to me that it kind of like came back to my memory and I was like, oh yeah, that used to exist. <laughs> So I think that would be a better idea than actually using essential oils. The people working for the company were very nice. I do have to mention that I had a lot of questions regarding how to use the product, if there was an ideal temperature, an ideal order, if I should put the gargoyle first and then my clothes or vice versa. They didn't really answer any of my questions. I kind of felt like they just copy pasted a bunch of stuff that was already on their website and I wish, I just wish they could have told me more. I'm someone who needs a lot of information and I just, I was left feeling wanting more by their customer service, but they were still very nice, so. <laughs> hey guys, it's Editing Emily. I forgot to mention in this video that I did get this stuff for free, and I also have a link for you guys that if you want to get 10% off, if you decide to order anything, uh, there's a link down below. Uh, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. It's all my own opinions, but it's very exciting to have a link for you guys if you feel so inclined to try it out for yourself. Let me know, I would love to hear from you. All right, bye. Let's give a big shout out to my cousin for helping me out with this video. I could not have done it without him. I was so confused about all the testing and the science behind it, so thank you, Gabe. <laughs> if you've enjoyed my science experiments, consider sharing this video. You could also give it a like, and if you don't agree with anything I said, comment down below. I would love to start a conversation. So on that note, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.